Welcome to the Windows 10 and Computer Channel, and this is a update to uh, talk a little bit more about um, while things are going and the future of Windows 10 overall. Uh, some of you have been telling me, well, you know, it's been a few weeks since you've uh, actually talked about the, what's happening with 19H2 and 20H1 and where we are at, and are we still on track for, um, you know, uh, one big update a year and one smaller update so um, okay we are our August we are August 20th 2019 and of course um, here in the northern hemisphere summer is uh, slowly going on and you know we'll soon be in fall uh, is there still a version of Windows this year yes 19h2 and yesterday insiders actually had another update we are still on track, and this is because Microsoft just didn't update anything else. We're still on track, apparently, to get 19H2, the next version of Windows, this fall. There are rumors it would be called the October 2019 update. The October 2019 update. But anything can happen, you never know. Um, it's supposed to be out roughly in a month for insiders so that means there's not going to be a lot of stuff in there because there's really not a lot of things happening in there but roughly in about a month from now maybe a little more uh, insiders should be the first to get it and then everybody will get it on their machines it will come in the form of a cumulative update so you won't have to you know do that big major update that you know everybody's scared of all the time Still, it will be a update that will come as a cumulative update. It will show up because a lot of people are asking me, okay, well, I'm on the May 2019 update and I'm okay here. Do I have to do it? No, you don't. If you're on the May 2019 update, you are okay until, um, you know, the second half of next year. You'll be forced to get whatever comes late 2020 nothing before so that will show up for you as a cumulative update but will be in the optional downloads no forced update to the 19h2 those of you who want to do it you'll all you have to do is you'll click the optional update and you'll have it as a cumulative update it will add a few features but not a lot honestly it's more like a service pack than anything else but once again, optional update. You won't have to do it. You'll do it if you want to do it, and that's it. But that said, if you're on the April 2018 update from last year, you will be forced on 18H2 because you'll be at the 18 months limit where um, you know, you'll have to do it. You, you will have to get that. Um, and possibly you are forced already anyways in the May 2019 update. If you were forced in the May 2019 update, then you'll be okay for a year and a half uh, without having to do updates. You don't even have to do 20H1. You won't be forced to do 20H1 either. 20H1, well, that's still moving on. This is what the fast ring insiders are testing. Uh, we're at build 18.963 right now. Starting to see a little more new features, a little more stuff happening. So, um, you know, overall, it's tons of little things. There will be a lot of little things new in there and new features. But once again, you know, these versions, for most people, you won't see much change. So for, you know, 80%, 90% of you out there, it's just going to be, well, I don't know why it took so long because I don't see anything new. And it was pretty much going to look like that. And it, that's the way it's going to work. And that's it. But, you know, it's um, it's the way it is. Now, a lot of you are asking me, so this is cool because now we're going to have a big update and a small update. Well, this year, yeah. Next year, we don't really know. And Microsoft isn't really clear. It isn't written in stone that we are going to stay in a major update and a minor update. We don't know. Uh, hopefully, we are because I think that's the way to go. I think that's okay, um, but we still don't know really for sure. 
As for the dates of release, well, you know, 19H2, like I said, for everybody is supposed to be somewhere in October. Uh, the 20H1 for next year, you know, it's anybody's guess, but they want to have it, of course, to insiders somewhere around March and get it to everybody or somewhere around April. But as all things are equal, it's not always like that. And we've seen it with the May 2019 update. There could be some delays. So that's where we're at, and that's pretty much where we know about this. And uh, yeah, forget about Windows 11 or Windows Infinite, or there's tons of names I see out there of Windows something that is going to be the next Windows, you know, after Windows 10. No, we're at Windows 10, and we're staying in Windows 10. That's it. We're getting updates, and that's it. So that's where we are at. And if you have any questions, uh, ask them, and I'll uh, take all the questions that I see and uh, possibly create a new video with the answers to all the questions that I see. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.